Here's my preview of the Baylor versus Oklahoma Wings basketball game. Keep in mind, last time Baylor played Oklahoma, they were coming off of COVID issues. So I don't think that's going to be a factor for Baylor necessarily. But regardless, I don't know about COVID issues on both teams here. Some players to keep an eye on, Matty Williams, that's six foot four. I mean, six foot guard slash forward as a senior. 18.4 points per game, 24 for 75 on threes. 71 for... 95 on free throws, 7.9 rebounds per game, 2.6 fouls per game, 2. assists per game, 8, 8 assists per game, 4.2 2 turnovers per game now, and 1.5 steals. Taylor Robinson is a 5 foot 7 inch guard. That's a senior as well, 17.8 points per game, 8, 85 for 178 on three pointers, 65 for 69 on free throws. 4.6 rebounds per game, 3.5 assists per game, 1.7 turnovers per game. Skylar Van is another player to keep an eye on. That's a 5 foot 11 inch guard slash forward. That's a sophomore, 11.8 points per game, 21 for 77 on threes, 26 for 34 on free throws, 6.2 rebounds per game, 2.3 fouls per game, 1.3 steals per game, 0.7 blocks per game. Calby Washington is a 5 foot 6 inch guard. That's a freshman. 7.5 points per game, 8 for 37 on threes, 41 for 53 on free throws, 2 rebounds per game, 4.3 assists per game, 3.3 turnovers per game, uh, 1.8 steals per game. Liz Scott is not a dangerous player, but she can score some. She's a 6 foot 2 inch forward, that's a junior, 6.7 points per game, 0 for 1 on threes, 36 for 50 on free throws. 4.6 rebounds per game, 3.4 fouls per game, 1.4 turnovers per game, 0.8 steals per game, 0.8 blocks per game. Nevea Tot is a 5 foot 2 inch guard that's a sophomore. 6.5 points per game, 15 for 42 on three pointers, 29 for 38 on free throws, 2.9 rebounds per game, 1.4 on fouls per game, 3.5 assists per game, 2.4 turnovers per game, 1.5 steals per game. Kennedy Tucker is a 5 foot 10 inch guard. That's a junior, 5 points per game, 12 for 35 on threes, 24 for 43 on free throws, 2.2 rebounds per game, 2 assists per game, 1.27 turnovers per game, 1.1 1 .1 steals per game. Kelly Perkins is a 6 foot guard. That's a freshman, 3.2 points per game, 12 for 22 on threes, 2 for 2 on free throws, and 0.7 fouls per game. Emma Zaboda is a six foot three inch center that's a freshman, two point eight points per game, nine for eighteen on free throws, two point two rebounds per game, one point five fouls per game. Nadia Lamkin is a six foot three inch four that's a senior, two point six points per game, seven for ten on threes, two point seven rebounds per game. One point five turnovers per game, one point eight fouls per game. But Gregory, Gabby Gregory, you don't have to worry about. She did not play last game, but she's not played a lot this year. We're only 1.4 points per game, 0 for 7 on threes, 3 for 3 on free throws. So it's kind of sim like last time you had a really good game. I want to start on the offense. You had a good game in terms of you had a lead most of the game or tied. But the last three minutes, you just didn't finish strong. But I think part of it was due to COVID, not to make an excuse. They were just fatigued from not playing for so long. And another key is they have to limit the points off turnovers a lot better than they did last time. And then you got to commit less turnovers than 18. That's simple. You won the rebounding battle. It's just you didn't turn the ball over too. You turned the ball too much. And you missed six free throws. But granted, you can't. Make every single one. Like, you were 19 for 25, but on threes, you were 4 for 11. You got to hit, hit more threes in this game. Because if you could have, like, the game you Melissa Smith had last time and Queen Egbo and Caitlin Bickle, then all it comes down to is guard play, which I think will be better this time because Jordan Lewis has been on a roll recently, and we know about the other available guards, and they might. Put Kalen Bickle at the three spot, but 
You got uh, on defense. You got to limit those transition points. You got to limit the threes better. I mean, you got to do better job than fourteen for twenty seven on on three pointers and last time on defense. And granted. You are a little bit tired, but this time you're in much better shape. And you got it. I would not try to get less Scott in so much foul trouble like last time. Not to say don't get her in foul trouble in general, but she's not a weapon on offense. But Skylar Vane is. She comes off the bench. She had 22 last time. You got to do a much better job on her when she's in the game. And you, Taylor Robinson, you only limited her to five shots, but all of them with threes and made it all of them. I mean, that's granted. You might, you need to slow her down better. And same with Maddie Williams. So it's simple. And Todd, Nevaeh, Todd had 11 points last time. So in general, you got to play better defense, get more pressure. You forced only 14 turnovers, but I think you could get a little bit more or about the same. And you got to score more points on turnovers and than the opponent. Simple. And you got to get the rebound. And try not to foul so much. I mean, don't let them get to the free throw line. You committed 16 fouls last time. So, and Jordan Lewis had four of those. And, obviously, Sarah Andrews last time out against Oklahoma had four, I mean, four turnovers. And Jordan Lewis had five turnovers. You got to take care of the ball better, like I said. Anyways, if you like this content, hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys later. Let's give me up to 400 subscribers or more by the end of this year.